said mine's Sea Shepherd. I know, I couldn't find my shirt. All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Sexy Tablespoon. We have been paying attention to the comments section and something that people keep asking for quite commonly is food that's just like super simple and easy that you can make when you get home after a long day of work or when you're lazy or, or you're in a rush. if you don't know how to cook. Yeah, I'm good at that. So anyway, what we're cooking today, we are going to cook up some super easy, fast burritos. Levi is gonna show you his version of a super simple, easy burrito that I guess would be pretty hard to mess up. And I'm gonna show you my version of the type of burrito that I would put inside my body, because I, I wouldn't eat some of the stuff that you're gonna serve. There is a little bit of pre-cooking involved. I pre-cooked my beans and my rice. So what a lot of people asked for was a quick and easy meal to make, you know, it's like when you get home from work and it's late, whatever. In my version of reality, you would have done some like pre-cooking beforehand so that you would have had food ready when you get home. Does that make sense? Like you would have cooked a pot of rice earlier in the day so that you would have food when you got home that you could then utilize to make a meal? You asking me? I'm just asking, does it make sense to you? Yeah. Okay, so these are the ingredients we're going to use today. This is a Morningstar vegan chicken strips, two cans of fat-free refried beans, and these uh, mission flour tortillas. These aren't the best tortillas. All right, so first thing is you're going to pop these cans open. All right. Then we're going to get her into this pot, right? We're gonna turn this stove on too low. Then we're gonna add just a little bit of water. So like fill the bottom of the pot because you can always add a little bit more. What the water's gonna do is you're gonna make it pliable to apply on top of your uh, your tortillas. And you smash her all down, break them up. Then we're gonna prepare our, our little veggies, yeah? So I chose some, some garlic. Then a little bit of onions. It's about however much onions you want to saute. I like sauteed onions and fresh onions on my burrito. I'm kind of butchering this fucking thing up. He does about a half a cup of water all together and this looks kind of like we can make that work. Okay, so then we turn this guy off, put it on the back stove and then we bring our skillet out. Turn the heat on medium. Then we get this guy ready. These guys usually come frozen. You might want to thaw them out in the ice box. While you're at work, you know, throughout the day. Almost like chicken strips, kind of scary. All right, the bottom of our pan is coated with oil. So once your oil starts to crackle, you're gonna throw in the garlic first. All right, once your garlic starts to turn brown on the edges, you start to drop these guys in, right? And spread around the pan like that, yeah? You know, just make sure everything's touching the pan and then just let it sit like that for a little while. You can play with the fire. I don't know what it's what your stove is like, but I think I gotta turn mine's down a little bit. Then if my pan starts to dry up, like it's doing right now, instead of putting more oil, I like to put water instead. Am I giving you enough air? Like you got enough space? Yeah, back up, back up. Sorry, I'm trying not to be myself. No, I didn't mention this ingredient before, but I like to use this all the time when I fry stuff. Yes, yeah, it's Kikoman shoyu. And I use it for flavoring. Just drizzle a little bit on this. A little bit goes a long way. This thing is really salty, yeah? Just mix it around. So again, if your pan starts to dry up, like mine's did a couple times already, just add a little bit of water to it. Now with this technique, you're not gonna get the golden crispy brown chicken strips, yeah? That you're used to, but I don't think you really need it in a burrito, yeah? It's a little bit more healthier this way too, I think. Okay, so that was cooking for about five minutes. Now I'm gonna throw in my onions. Mix it around. I'm gonna let the onions heat up for about a minute and then I'm gonna move her off the stove. Now you don't wanna throw in water towards the end of your cooking cycle because you don't want the chicken to be sitting in water or the, the fake chicken strips to be sitting in water because then it'll get all mushy, yeah? So you kinda want the pan to dry up towards the end. 
So we'll turn off the stove and we'll, we'll leave the chicken strips in the pan and we'll just put it to the side. Okay, now we're gonna get the tortillas ready. Oh shit, can you cut up some veggies for me? Mm hmm Okay, so the first two we're gonna make are the super simple easy ones, yeah? They're about like that much, yeah? Is that like four tablespoons? <laughs> like the spread mine's in the middle like that. Grab our chicken strips that's been sitting in the pan, drying off for a little bit. And grab a little bit, yeah. Make sure we have enough for the rest of the burritos. You situate them in the center. Grab our tomatoes we cut up earlier. Sprinkle her on. And then that's it. Just like that. That's a simple one. Then we'll fold the long ways first, about an inch, and give her a little press down. The bean should hold her tight. Then we fold over one way, a little more than halfway. And then we'll fold her over one more time. And as I'm folding on over, I'm gonna tuck these guys in right here, yeah. Tuck them in, push them down, and then sit it on. Bingo. And then you got yourself on burrito. Thick, not too complicated. All right, so now we're gonna do the, the same ingredients as the first burrito, plus what we had for dinner last night, yeah? So last night we had some steamed greens, beans, and potatoes. We had some spiced rice with lentils. Damn, this is gonna be a good burrito. Drop your beans on, yeah? Get your chicken. Drop a couple potatoes in this guy. I'm gonna break them up. A couple green beans. A little bit of the spiced rice. Kinda wanna keep your ingredients all towards the center with these guys. Then same rolling. Tuck the outside. Bring this guy over a little bit more than halfway. Bit. And then we roll it. As you can see, this guy is a little bit fatter. The next burrito I'm gonna make is going to be just beans, the chicken strips, and some veggies that Lily had prepared for us, okay? I'm gonna go heavy on the beans with this guy. Heavy on the chicken. So here are the veggies that I have been chopping up. Let's focus on that, shall we? Don't distract oh, the sorry. camera, it's trying to focus. <laughs> so I have some beautiful cherry tomatoes that came from my friend's greenhouse. You have some red and orange sweet bell peppers, some red onion, green onion, some white onion too, my goodness, and then a little bit of uh, tomatoes over there in the corner too. Super simple, fast to chop up. So we're gonna make it rain on this bad boy, huh? All right. All right, you got a good view? Make it rain. Okay. Tomatoes, green onion, baby. Whoa. More tomatoes. Oh. So there will be more tomatoes. Oh. Some peppers. Yeah, save some for me. Oh, and some onions. Oh. And what is this guy again? White onion in the White middle. White onion. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, but wait, wait. Not done yet. See, there's some vitamins and minerals and stuff. Oh, you're going to take my spinach too? And that does a lot for your body, you know. I took a couple, couple extra minutes to That's chop those guys up. That's where Levi thinks the trash can is, by the way. Oh, a couple pinches of spinach. How, how are you planning to get that thing closed? What? First, yeah, you gotta push them down like that, yeah? Mm-hmm. Get, get them flat. <laughs> we gotta fold the edges like this. Yeah. And we gotta do our technique where we go a little bit more than halfway, yeah? Yeah. And then we gotta, we gotta stuff this guy back in like that. Then we gotta pinch the corners. Oh, the we, corner uh, pinch. That's your secret. The corner on the round tortilla. Good luck finding that. If you like, add a little bit extra oomph. And you know, if you like take some for lunch tomorrow and you get some of your friends is always ragging you on vegan stuff and they're gonna like look at your food and you don't want it bland like this, yeah? You like getting the crisp edge on the top of that guy. I'm gonna show you how to do that, yeah? Does that look like a jalapeno to you? I know this one's not, but that... It does look like a jalapeno. <laughs> All right, so back to our pan, yeah? You gotta add oil for this one. I tried doing it without oil. Doesn't work, you gotta put oil. Just a little bit at least. And again, just enough to cover the pan because any more is gonna get soaked up by your tortillas and you don't want that. You don't wanna bite into it and have that oil dripping down your chin, yeah? Okay, so our pan looks about ready. And we're gonna drop the folded side, yeah? Down first. Folded side down first. Oh, not yet. You like that? You like them sizzle, yeah? Okay. Anyway, so let them sit for a little while, yeah? Alright, so that was about one minute. Oh, enough of 
flip this guy. All right, perfect. Okay, that was about another minute on that guy. We're going to nice toasted burritos. So I'll fold this side down so it seals itself. So when you flip it, everything doesn't fall out. And if you burn one side, that's okay. Just flip them over because you cannot burn two sides, yeah? Unless you're me, I burn. Sometimes I burn three sides. Ooh. Oh, I remember that like fried gluten smell. Ah! The whole counter get hot, yeah, with the stove. No. No? No, it's pretty much just the stove. Just the stove, huh? Wow! See when you like talk story. So that can be the downside. I just wanted to show you what would happen if you burned them, yeah. This one is kind of big, so we're going to turn them on the side, yeah. We're going to try to get the side, too. So that's how she looking, yeah. Check that out. Pretty action. Mmm. Mind if I take over here? Yeah. Because that was the hardest thing I've done in a long time. What was? Relinquishing control mm, of um, the kitchen. Would you look video. at that? Would you look at that? Squeeze it. Okay, stop squeezing it. Stop squeezing it, my god. <laughs> I gotta make mine so we can go see Tulsi. Mm. All right, so now it's my turn to make my kind of burritos that'll work with my kind of body because all the gluten and like I don't ever use oil and stuff. So, so my super fast burritos are 100% whole plant foods. Yes, even the tortillas because I'm technically not making burritos, I'm making collard burritos, which are burritos made with collard greens instead of tortillas. No, they're not as good, but they still taste really good and they're super good for me and I feel really great even after I eat them and that is the kind of food I like to eat. Obviously, if you want to put this kind of filling inside a tortilla and even grill it up like Levi did, you're more than welcome to do that. It's your life, your choices, you're an adult. So anyway, let's get started with my fast and easy burritos. So the most important thing when you need fast, easy, and healthy food is to make it in advance. This is leftover spiced rice and lentils with some onions thrown in there to cook up. It is delicious. Then we have some potatoes and then I threw green beans in, but I am not gonna put green beans in my burrito because that's weird. Other pre-cooked ingredient, are black beans. Now this time I used our instant pot. It literally took less than an hour to cook these pre-soaked black beans. Let's see how they turned out. Woo wee! Those are gorgeous. And I showed myself getting these beans ready in my what I eat in a day video. So if you have questions about that, you can head on over there. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Gosh, I haven't even added salt to these and they're so good. After the beans and the rice are cooked, there is no further cooking involved. That's right, folks. You could saute onions and garlic and other vegetables on the stove. I'm not going to, because this is fast and this is easy. The scenario I'm envisioning is you're getting home from work as waitress, it's like 1 a.m. You're a little bit drunk, shouldn't be touching the stove. Even those people need to eat healthfully. So what I'm gonna do is get a stainless steel bowl and a rice paddle that is conveniently covered in refried beans. I'm going to take several scoops of rice. The rice and, hey, lentils are in here. More the merrier. And onions, scoop that out. Look, there's still plenty for tomorrow's lunch and tomorrow's dinner. And a few scoops of these beautiful black beans. My goodness, these are ravishing. Oh, the smoked paprika smells so good. Sorry, I'm having camera steam problems. From here, we're just gonna take all of these beautiful veggies, local organic vegetables and purple sweet potato, and we are going to add these in. You can add in whatever your favorites are. You know, it took me about 
five, maybe 10 minutes to cut these up, which is probably something you shouldn't do when you're drunk. Save a little extra just in case you need it. And then here I have some local organic spinach and lettuce that was grown by my lovely friends in their greenhouse that they so generously gifted to me. And now all we have to do is mix it. I'm gonna add in one more handful of washed baby spinach. Give that two. Little squirt with the Bragg's liquid aminos because this is a little bit lower sodium and it's gluten free. So I prefer it as opposed to the soy sauce. And then we'll just give this a good mix through. Now the beans are still hot. The beans don't have to be hot, but because they're hot, they'll probably wilt the spinach ever so slightly. Everything will just incorporate beautifully. Tons and tons of fiber and vitamins and antioxidants and minerals phytonutrients. And then to prepare your collard greens for the collard Ritos, I have already thoroughly washed these because I mean they're organic and they're slugs in Hawaii and those slugs cause problems. I grab at the base of the leaf and then you pull until you're about halfway down the stem and then you break it. That one kind of broke on its own in the right place. So that you still have a little bit of stem to maintain the integrity of your collard green but you get rid of most of the really chewy stuff. And I'm probably just gonna have four of these tonight. My appetite is still not back to normal. And how's your potato game? <laughs> if you watch my What I Eat in a Day video, you saw that like incredibly overweight chihuahua that I saw <laughs> at the Brian Schatz Town Hall. And that is what you want to look like. I know it, the way you beg for food so much, but I'm not gonna let that happen. As much as you like to eat, you like being able to move and breathe at the same time. And then to assemble your collard burrito, all you have to do, grab your collard green. You can do this on a chopping board, but you know, because I'm so talented, I'm just gonna do it floating here, right over the floor. You just scoop some of your filling, into your collard and then take your two flaps. Put those first. Oh shucks, I'm not that talented. You can do it, Lillian. I believe in you. I can't do it. I can't do it. Shit. Good enough, I'm just gonna hold it. Mmm. Mm, so good. Remember these? Yeah, they remember those. I had to watch you making them for like 45 minutes. 45 minutes? Not that long. Mm-hmm. This uh, is surprisingly uh, satisfying for know. being wrapped in a leaf. Can I try it? Mm-hmm. It's satisfying for being wrapped in a leaf, yeah. That's mm -hmm. for sure. <laughs> Honestly, after eating something like that, Compared to eating something like that, the ones I made, you feel a lot better. That's what I'm going for. Oh, how did the beans come out? Really good. Okay, so we forgot to film this um, when, you know, we had the food. So let's do this now. Thank you so much for watching. It has been a blast, as always. Oh, see you later. Yeah, we'll see you later. Requests go down below for what you might want to see us make next week. I was kind of thinking like a cool Buddha bowl. Buddha bowl. Buddha bowl tutorial might Ooh. be cool. What about but... tofu poke? Or tofu poke, that Pretty could good. work. Make sure you tune in next week if you want to have dinner with us. We did remember to film that and it's over on my What I Eat Wednesday or What I Eat in a Day video that will be linked up in here and in the description box. We'll see you next time. Oh! <laughs> got me scared. I think my toenail's gonna fall off. Room. Oh my god. What happened? You were involved. Okay. Ooh, oh no! I need a dog! <laughs> Poor Ketter. I heard that, Ketter. Thanks for coming so fast. Sorry you're outside. <laughs>